Hey, what's everybody up to? It's JR here. If you hear any squealing in the background, it's probably my carbon monoxide alarm. Oh, see right there. If you just heard that, I don't know, but uh, I got to get that thing changed out. It was supposed to give me a battery life of uh, seven years. It made it to four years and then, yeah. So I tried replacing the battery and what do you know it? It did not work. Turns out this is an indicator that the life of the carbon monoxide alarm, the carbon monoxide detector is actually uh, done for. So what that means is even if I replace the battery, it's still gonna beep like that. So today I get to go buy a new little carbon monoxide detector alarm thing, which is only gonna set me back 60 bucks. So, you know, that's fine, that's fine. Something exciting happened yesterday. Exciting in the sense of when you are a uh, blind parent, there's certain adventures you get to relive again. I don't know if you remember this, but uh, I told you a story, maybe before you were a subscriber, maybe not. Back when I was 11 years old, I was eating some KFC chicken. And when I was eating that chicken, I was getting full. You see, growing up, we didn't make a lot of money. So KFC, Colonel's Kentucky Fried Chicken, was a delicacy. And because it was a delicacy, I didn't want to waste the food. Also, it didn't help that my mother raised us with the classic mortality of, you better finish your food. There is starving children in Africa who would love your food which is the weirdest thing for another generation to tell another generation, just so that generation eats all their food. Sometimes I think I'm fat because of that constant r reminder. Oh, better finish what's on your plate. You know, you'll make the people in Africa cry because we look at Africans, I guess, as a starving country. And it, I, oh. yeah, so it drove me up the wall. So I didn't want to waste my chicken. So what happened? Well, I'm, I, I'm gonna give it to my sister, who was sitting to my right. Little did I know she had actually got up and went for a walk with our cousin Amber. So she wasn't there. There was another stranger who I thought was my sister. So I ran over and I said, hey, you want the rest of my bone? Little did I know it was a stranger. To this day, I cringe at that story because I offered a complete stranger my bone of all things. So my chicken bone, oh, it was very, very, very embarrassing. But I now tell that story on stages everywhere because I can laugh at it and cringe and laugh and cringe. Yesterday, me and the family went out to the Discovery Wildlife, which is located in Innisfail, Alberta. And they had their light the night where they set up their entire campground with Christmas lights, Christmas displays. And it was really, really nice. It was $30 to get in because we had a vehicle of seven. And uh, the more people you bring, the more money you pay, but it has to be per vehicle load. So if you bring a full size van, you know, 12, 15 plus, then you're looking at about $100. The money goes to the animals because at Discovery Wildlife in Innisfail, they have all types of animals that uh, live there that they take care of from ostriches to camels to black bears and lions and so on and so forth. So we finished the tour, loved going through the lights. I was able to see everything overall because it was nighttime. My vision actually does better at nighttime. Anyway, after that, there was the Gringe, you know, the green guy that uh, he tried to take Christmas away from Whoville. And yeah, you, you, maybe you know the story, maybe you don't. Well, after the uh, tour, you can get photos with the Gringe. We happened to walk by the Gringe, right? This green fellow. He was very, very still, didn't really move. So my nine-year-old, who also uses a white cane, he's kind of blind like me, he thought it was a statue or an animal that happened to stay really still. So he started touching the fur, the, the hair. And, I, and then he said to my mom, he said, uh, my mom, he said to my wife, hey, um, this is, this is, this feels nice. You should come touch this hair. It's so soft. And then the Gringe slowly moved his head and said, thank you. I don't know if he said thank you, but 
Uh, my son then got up and, and quickly walked away because he was embarrassed because this whole time he was touching somebody in a Grinch costume. Anyway, I laughed so hard because for the first time in my adult life, I was able to see another person with a visual impairment that probably would have done the same thing I would have done. They would have pushed, uh, they would have pet something and then walked away because they were embarrassed, right? So uh, to my son, Drex, uh, I, I, I love you and that's not going to be the last time you get embarrassed because there's going to be a few more mistakes you make later on in life. So I thought I'd share that story with you guys because it's, it feels really cool that I offered somebody a chicken bone when I was 11 years old and then to see my son who's nine years old touch somebody in a Grinch costume thinking it's a real critter or you know real hair and uh, yeah so we had a great laugh and uh, my son's doing good uh, he'll be able to laugh at it one day and maybe if he d decides stand-up comedy is the way he wants to make his money maybe he'll be telling that Grinch story on stage one day you never know Anyway, that about does it for today's video. Hope you enjoyed it. My name's J.R.B. Aronson. Thank you for coming along and uh, hanging out with me for a few minutes today. Uh, yeah, I'll see you in two days. I'm trying to get a video out to you every two days because every day sometimes it just can get a little daunting because uh, I don't always have time for these videos, right? So I'll see you later. Remember to like, comment, and click the subscribe button on my channel. All right, bye-bye.